Howdy everybody, uh, Brian here. Uh, just uh, want to talk about uh, this uh, email that came in, I believe yesterday. Um, this is also part of uh, an overall uh, commentary that I put out today, earlier today, on um, you know building bots for crypto, let's say, and then trying to offer a service so that people can you know, make money from them as a, you know, from, from the trading bots and signals. So title of the article at myquantlabs.net slash blog, uh, market analytical video posts posted for a new direction. Again, market analytical videos posted for a new direction. So this is similar to what I posted uh, a few days ago. A uh, comment came in with uh, very smartly, uh, it was a good, good, good comment. Um, as in my comments in your post, if you can't make money on down markets or sideways, and only on markets, then obviously your strategy script is missing two thirds of all signals in this program to look for that. Hence the low amount of signals. For a successful bot, you'll need strategies for all markets and outcomes, not just upward trending markets. Also, if you're interested in topics like this, you can get some free PDF books, quantlabs.net. Want to learn more how to do algorithmic trading with quantlabs.net slash DVD. Okay, so here's the response. Uh, essentially, I've been doing this for with, with crypto for about three years now. Um, you can make amazing money with crypto, but everything's all about uptrend. When you look at the wealth that's been generated over the last, say, 10 years uh, from the uptrends in the U.S. markets, many, many people are becoming wealthy because of that. Um, most traders that try to trade either in specifically uh, flat markets, sideways markets, that's the toughest market um, conditions to be in, um, as well as down trending is pretty self-explanatory. If you can see pro uh, predictable trades moving down, then obviously you can short. Uh, I had one guy uh, talking about the shorting of Treasury last week, convinced of it. Uh, markets went up thereafter, he probably got slaughtered, I don't know. Um, but... If you can do sideways uh, trading in, in flat markets, you're doing amazing. You're probably one of the best traders out there. If you can do that in crypto, you're even doing better. And you can do it consistently, you're even probably one of the best traders in the world. The uh, reason I say that is because cryptocurrencies will drop off and everything comes down to probabilities. So um, what you're looking for to really be guaranteed profit is obviously an uptrend. It doesn't matter what asset class it is. Probably the other topic here that's not discussed is diversity outside of just one asset class. Um, I put up my set of videos yesterday on it regarding CFDs, Forex, which I'm not a huge fan of, but trading and investing are two different things. So uh, I've also mentioned a few days ago in one of my emails or videos uh, pertaining to this one, um, is hodling, is H-O-D-L-I-N-G, better for long-term return in cryptocurrency? And my answer is yes. So when I say hodling, it's the same definition as I call it as investing. So investing is where you put on a position for a few days, a few weeks, maybe a couple of months. Depends, again, on trend and uptrend. Uh, I put out some videos here um, here in most lucrative FX or CFD in the last three months. You can see in certain markets uh, or assets or instruments, that there's a solid trend there and you just park it, set it, forget it, and not worry about it. That's your typical buy and hold uh, strategy and uh, let your profits ride in the world of uh, uptrends. Now, when it comes to active trading or uh, trading short term, day trading, uh, in, in a matter of uh, minutes, hours, uh, you're talking about day trading, as I said, and algorithmic trading or automated trading. That's much tougher to do, but you're still looking for the uh, trends. Um, I just think trend is your friend, as uh, that's the saying goes. Um, so there's really no argument on that. Uh, in terms of am I missing out, um, this, this comment about missing out in signals, I have one of my scripts that can generate a couple of hundred signals but when those signals in the market conditions specifically in crypto are always negative pointing down this is where you end up in the challenge of thinking well maybe you should focus on on investing 
all these dumb jerk offs in my neighborhood with uh, their, uh, you know, 30 year old cars and, and fancy mufflers. Sorry about that. Anyways, um, yeah, so we have that uh, something to look at. And it all comes down to portfolio assessing and allocation on how you allocate what type of strategy, what kind of instrument, what's the potential of uh, that will give you that potential profit uh, over a couple hours, a couple of minutes, or a couple of days, weeks. And then that breaks down the um, investment or trading or active trading based upon the time horizon of that position you want to put on. So I'm going to start looking at that. I tried to make the attempt yesterday looking at all the old tools that I've got at my disposal, be it Matt MotorWave or Python scripts that I've built in the past. I've got a whole arsenal of them. I'll be turning a whole uh, uh, um, sig- uh, a, a site type of newsletter advisory based built around that. Um, some people are looking for solutions where they can have a bot and it just trades on their behalf. I think if that's something you're looking for, I could probably build a solution for that eventually before I die. But will it work from my experience for a time being? Yes, the market conditions will change. Will that bot become useless? No, but for a time being, it will not be useful. So you have to blend in all the different types of investing, trading, automated or not. Uh, to make it worth a go. So I'm going to be building out a whole service around this while I'm testing, putting all this kind of content over the last few days to see what people are saying, seeing if people are, uh, if there's a viable opportunity here to make a service out of it. I can build my own trading bots uh, for my own needs, but to be able to deliver it to other customers and have it sit on their own um, their own uh, desktop, that's a tough, that's a tough, that's a tough thing to build. Um I've kind of explained that in this article again, market and analytical videos posted for a new direction. So I kind of explained that in the blog there. <coughs> That's pretty all I want to say. Hopefully this will help out people, maybe this guy as well, seeing where I'm going on this. And let me know what you think. I'm always open to uh, feedback, uh, constructive feedback. I'm just going to be one idiot saying, oh, you're just going to be, you know what you're doing. It's not very helpful, not very productive. Anyways, we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Thank mm-hmm. you.